it's time for a rather short crate dig video. I uh, went to, with a friend to a flea market, uh, three floors big. It took us an hour and a half just to get through two floors. Didn't even go down to the other floor. But had a good time seeing a friend I hadn't seen in a while. And got a couple things out of the deal. But before we get to what uh, I got at the flea market, and even with both of this, there is this is a very small, gonna be a very short video. Got a couple of vinyl I picked up at a local uh, thrift shop. Um, and I thought I had a couple others, but I can't find them, so this must be the only two. Uh, Big Chill soundtrack, and I've had this for several weeks now. It's in actually really good shape. It's a wonder. I'm almost surprised to find something in this good shape at that uh, thrift shop. And so. Set this out. The next one, I just found it kind of funny that they had that. Because I literally bought a CD on Amazon that had this. Uh, Pasebo's Canon. And the reason I got that on Amazon, and I got this because I just found it hugely ironic. And it's priced a dollar. I think they gave it to me for a ton cheaper than that. But, uh, I do run sound for weddings at my church and I wanted a CD of wedding music which of course this is one you do here in case an organist didn't show up or I get a bum CD from the bride and groom or whatnot I wanted a backup system or for a poorly prepared bride and groom I've had a few that have been about like that Okay, as you saw me reach over and get the rest, but first I did get a CD. There's a couple others I saw and that I didn't get. I'm definitely going to want to get back up there sometime, but it's a fair ways from where I live. But the first one was four play. Yes, please. Three bucks. In darn near perfect shape. There's some cracks on the case. Hatch. And CD's darn near perfect. Cracks on the case were my fault. I tripped, knocked it off, and then stepped on it because I knocked it off the shelf. But the CD is okay, so all is well. Um, I saw this and just had to have it. George Benson, Reason, a great album all the way through. I've gotten to listen to both of these George Bensons. Yes, I got another one here. Uh, let me look. In Your Eyes, George Benson. And the two... Two albums are just, don't even sound like the same artist. This one is has more vocal, more of an R&B pop sound, where this one is it's a very heavy jazz instrumental, mostly. Got a classic here, though. Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. I saw, I didn't really want it terribly bad, but it was cheap enough. Actually, there was no price on it. I just decided I had to have it. It was only a dollar, though. One thing that bothered me about this flea market is there were several places that were selling their vinyl, and it was all stacked, you know, stacked like this. So that kind of bothered me about some of them. But the last one was Heart. What is it called? Bad Animals. I've listened to half of this. I haven't gotten to listen to Side B yet, though. But it's still a good album in pretty good shape, so I'm not really going to complain. The George Benson wet records have some, or a little warped, and literally to the point to where they'll knock the needle forward just from, they're so warped that the tone arm's going up and down so aggressively to keep on it. But here we are, less than five minutes, and it's done, so. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is I found it, and my friend bought it, He's not a vinyl collector, but but I found a Star Trek record. I can't remember what I was on it, but I'm like, hey, check this out. And uh, he basically said that he was getting it, so which is fine with me. I'm not a Star Trek fan, whereas he is. So he's talked about giving it to his dad, and he bought some video games, and hopefully he posts his findings on YouTube. It, and if we do, he does, and we'll link to two videos somehow. Oh well, that's it. 